You've asked, so I'm here to deliver. I'm doing a tutorial with the new Tarte Showstopper palette. Um, this is just a beautiful palette. It's, I find that with palettes there's always like one or two dud colors that I'm like, why did they put that in there? Like it doesn't really go, I can tell they're just filling up the holes. Every single one of these colors is really nice. The blush is beautiful and then it has a bronzer which is intense. Like you gotta be, you can't be too heavy handed with the bronzer and then a highlighter which is really beautiful. So some of my favorite eye brushes are by Sonia Kashuk. You can find those at Target. I'm going to use, oh it's not labeled, I hate that. Is this one labeled? It is. The number 20 brush by Sonia Kashuk. Um, it's a nice fluffy brush which is good for, and I have two. Um, all over the eye. So I'm going to pick up this shade here for the base and just swipe that all over my eye. This is a great neutral that adds a little bit of color but not too much. I think if you were to use an eyelid primer and just press this right over top of it like before the primer even sat you'd get uh, a darker look but it's a great neutral light brown. Little, Maybe a little bit sandy but a lot of skin tones can wear this color. That's what I like about this palette is they're not really limited. So I'm just going all over my lid. This is just to provide a nice neutral base and this is the daytime look. Next I'm picking up this shade to put just in my crease. Um, I don't need a lot of color because like I said daytime we don't want to go too heavy on the eye. But it, it'll define my crease a little bit and just add a little contrast between both colors so it's not completely flat. So I'm just pressing this into my crease and blending it out to the outer corner of my eye. And don't worry if your eyeshadow goes too high on your brow bone. We'll blend that out in a minute. My favorite thing to use for a casual daytime look if I need to soften the line between my eyeshadow and uh, my brow bone is just a little bit of powder. Um, this is the Urban Decay, the name is so long, Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. Um, this I love this foundation. It's, it's, it can be used wet or dry. So all I'm doing is sort of going right along my eyeshadow to soften the line so it doesn't look too 80s if you know what I'm saying. We don't need to go that high on the brow bone. And by using this foundation, it ensures that your brow bone area will match the rest of your face. And then if you need to soften it even more, don't add any more foundation to the or powder to the brush, but just sweep over everything. And that'll soften both of the colors together. So I am like a brown eyeliner kind of gal these days. I don't know what happened. I was black eyeliner for years and years and years. So I'm using Stila's Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in Lionfish. My only complaint with this, and I might have just gotten like a dud package, is sometimes I have to go back and forth a couple times to even get the product to come out um, or to, to show up on my eyelid. It's almost like I think there's a little bit of glitter in here and so if I get started on like a piece of glitter, none of the color shows up. Um, so it's, it, I'm, I'm actually kind of shopping for another one. I love these Stila liners. Can't talk and do eyeliner at the same time. Um, but, I mean, I kind of have to press really hard to get some pigment to come out of this. So, like I said, it might have just been a dud. But I don't have any trouble with any of the other colors. It's just this, um, what is this, lionfish? Lionfish one, for some reason. So all I'm doing is a soft line of brown just against my lashes not even going too wide on the outside and we'll kick it up a notch for evening So I just did a tutorial featuring the fiber lashes I'm using, which 
Um, I have a couple favorites, but the Unique Moonstruck Natural Fibers, I like the fibers. Um, there's a learning curve, but I hate the gel mascara that comes with them, so it's kind of a waste to buy the set. I wish you could just buy the fibers. I mean, come on, Unique. If you're out there, just sell the fibers individually, and then we can use it with our own mascara. Um, is there anything worse than watching someone curl their lashes on a video? I hate doing this part. Um, but I'm starting with Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. I was a CoverGirl Lash Blast fan for years and years, and I still like the mascara. But man, this Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes is pretty awesome. Like, I haven't bought a CoverGirl mascara in a long time. And I didn't know if I could ever live without it. So I like to do one coat of this. And then, you know what? For time's sake, if you want to see the layering process of fibers and mascara, um, I will put a link to that tutorial uh, within this video. So you can just click over and watch that there. I'm just going to sort of power through this so we can get on to the evening section. So watching someone else put mascara on is a little bit... Maybe more exciting than watching paint dry, but you get the point. So let's just press past this part. Okay, mascara is on. I'm using my new Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil. Um, this is on an angle. Let me see if I can get that clear for you. Um, the product comes out on an angle, which I really like for creating a natural look of my brows. And um, I actually had some people tell me on Instagram that I needed to kick my brows up a little bit, so... I'm doing that for you. Um, actually, I mean, my eyebrows, as you can see, like this one especially, kind of non-existent. And they've been like that my whole life, so I'm used to seeing myself without much. And I've used eyebrow pencil um, for a while, but, you know, since sort of bigger brows are in right now, I thought, okay. I can kick mine up a little bit. But there's, some, there's like a right thicker brow, and then like an Oscar the Grouch brow, and I don't, there's some really trendy girls that have these really thick brows, and I don't know what happened. I mean, it's the kind of thing where it's like, you have to have a friend to tell you, like, it's too much. Rein it in. Okay, so I use the brow pencil over here, just following the natural shape. So when I fill them in, I actually have not a bad shape to my brow. Uh, so we'll do this side, and then what I like about this brow pencil is you barely have to touch it against your skin, and I think the warmth of the skin um, sort of warms up the waxiness to it, so it goes on really nicely. And uh, this used to only be offered in maybe three to four shades, maybe just three. No lie, the day after I bought it, they came out with like nine different shades. So I'm using... Blonde. I think there's blonde, brown, black. I think that's all they had. And now they have nine different ones, which they needed. So I don't know if I would buy this exact color again. It, it's a little bit warm for my neutral hair color. But it's, you know, kind of okay. Um, but I think there's like an ashy taupe, and that's the one I would go for next. So on the other end, there's a spoolie, and I like to just rub this back and forth. So you can't see any of the strokes I just put in with the pencil. Okay, so eyebrows are done. And all we're going to do to finish up for the daytime look is put a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes. So uh, I'm using Clinique's bottom lash. I like this for the bottom lashes. I tried to get creative and use it for the top lashes. It's not, it's not good. So just a little bit of definition around the base. Okay, so we're done with the eyes for daytime. Really simple. Um, may seem like it took a while, but uh, once you are not doing this for potentially a camera, you can plow through it. I'm going to use Sony Kashuk um, Tools number 29 and pick up some of the blush. We're just doing blush, keeping it simple for the day. And the apples. And then we'll get into the bronzer and the highlighter later. Lip color is the Lip Moisture from Anthropology. It comes in this really cute flamingo package. 
and I don't know the name of it because for some reason I'll never understand. They didn't put the here's another tube. They didn't put the names of them on the package. So if you go to the anthropology website, hang on. I mean, I guess we could call this the flamingo package um, or the flamingo color. Uh, it's a really neutral, almost like barely any color, but a little softer pink. This one's a little bit darker, um, but these two are on repeat pretty much constant. A lot of times my daytime face is even lighter foundation and minimal eye, light lip, a little bit of blush, keeping it simple. So, so this is the daytime look using this palette um, and a couple other things that I had. And next I'm going to show you how to kick it up a notch if you have something to do in the evening. Okay, let's punch this up for evening. I'm gonna put a layer of Kat Von D's Ink Liner in Trooper. This is just a black liquid liner right along my lashes. So this is gonna add more definition. And using a liquid liner after you've already applied mascara is a lot easier than sort of dragging either a coal or pencil liner against your lash line. This will ensure that I don't really mess everything up. Um, but I'm gonna have to stop talking because I can't, I can't do both of that. I can't even, I haven't even started and I still can't communicate, so. Let's just do this. And then flick it out a little bit on the ends. And to add a little bit more definition to the eye, I'm going to pull this really deep chestnutty brown color um, and put it in my crease and then pull it down to the bottom outer corner. And I'm just pressing my brush in because a little goes a long way. I'm picking up my fluffy brush, I'm not adding any product to it, and I'm just going right over what I did to soften the lines together. You can kind of think of using a big fluffy brush with or without a little powder as kind of an eraser and a blender. If you need to get rid of a little product, if you went a little heavy handed, put some foundation powder on there um, or setting powder. But if you just need to soften the lines, just use the brush by itself. Make sure you're wiping it off. You can blend everything together that way. On the lower lash line, I'm going to pick up this shade right here with my Sonia Kashuk number 31 tool. This is just a pointed um, white brush. I kind of like that it's white. The rest of my brushes are uh, black bristles, so you know, changes it up a little bit. And again, all I'm doing, so you can see, is just pressing the brush into the color and I'm picking up a ton. So that's what I love about Tarte shadows and their blushes I mean, and especially their bronzer. It's all really pigmented so you don't have to work your brush in there to pick up product. So and then I'm just going to go back and forth along my lower lash line. Using a dark shadow and kind of creating essentially a shadow under your eye instead of a line is a much softer look. So if you're new to wearing slightly heavier makeup, um, maybe skip just using eyeliner on your lower lash line and just use a dark shadow. You can use a pointed brush like this or an angled brush. And that way you'll get the depth and the definition and it'll make your eyes look bigger and rounder. But you won't get like the line that sometimes can look too harsh. So you can see what a difference that makes. And I, I didn't even need to pick up more product. Um, so just adding some depth and almost like a shadow 
as if my eyes were bigger than they actually were under there is, is enough. And then I'll put a little bit more mascara down there. I'm just going to go from the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara again because this is easy to layer. It dries really quickly and it's a really wet mascara, which is why it's so great for the lower lashes. Um, it's not waxy or soft, so it doesn't rub off onto your face. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit of this right on top of the mascara I had on earlier. Let's contour a little bit. I am not good at this. Um, I don't follow maybe all the rules and I go super light. Uh, better to be under contour than over contour, if you know what I'm saying. Another Sonia Kashuk brush, can you tell I have a favorite, is uh, the number 24. This is just a sh sort of short and squatty brush. Um, a lot of times you'll find with contouring, um, with the bronzer or the darker shade, the brushes are a lot smaller. That scares me a little bit. So I always grab slightly fluffier brushes than maybe I'm supposed to use so I don't get too liney and edgy, if that makes sense. Um, and I'm picking up the bronzer right here. Just like with the eyeshadow, I mean, I'm barely pressing in and I've already got a ton of product on there. And I'm going to go through the hollows of my cheeks here, which kind of don't exist, so I'm going to fake that they're there, along my jawline and then at the outer corners of the top of my forehead. Um, those are the main, those are kind of the basic contour areas. And if you want to get, you know, involved in the nose contouring, I would highly recommend checking out Mascara's blog. Her name's Kara. Her blog is Mascara. She's a contour queen. She did a makeover on me, and uh, it was crazy awesome. I did not look like myself. That's what we were going for, like a really different look. Uh, but she's the queen of contouring, and she makes it really easy. So I would, I would definitely recommend checking out her blog. I have no business doing a contour tutorial, so uh, you likely won't find that by me. But I'm going along my jawline here. This just helps define it. Um, I don't have a strong jawline, so this just gives a little definition. And the thing is, if you're going to do your jawline, make sure you blend down to your neck, because that's going to look awkward. And then we'll do outer part of my forehead. I'll pick up the highlighter, which is right next to the bronzer, put a little bit of that on my fluffy brush. I like to hit the tops of my cheeks, center of my nose, middle of my forehead, just a touch on my chin. And then I'm going to finish by kicking the blush up a little bit. I like doing blush last because I prefer uh, a somewhat heavy blush look. If you don't like that, do blush before you contour and it'll sort of get blended underneath. Um, but I, I like a little kick of color on my cheek, so I'm going to just focus that since the rest of my face has all this color from the bronzer and the highlighter. I really only need to focus on the apples and not even bother blending it up to my temples. And if you ever feel like you over-highlighted, just pick up the brush you use to apply any powder and go right over top of it, and that's going to soften it without erasing it completely. For a final bit of impact on your lashes, line your upper lash line with the black liner. I'm using Stila's liner in Stingray. This is the black shade. I have no trouble getting any color out of this one. It's just that lionfish liner. Um, is that going to give you nightmares, seeing me do that? People are, people are sensitive to seeing images of feet and people messing with their own eyes. So neither of that phases me, so I'm just going to keep going here. But maybe I'll put a disclaimer at the beginning. So that added a lot of definition to my upper lash line. Without fail, that's going to transfer onto my lower waterline which I'm kind of okay with. I don't want too much depth and smokiness, so I'm just not going to put any on there to begin with. But it'll slowly work its way down there as the day goes. Um, and then let's finish with a little bit of lip color. It's evening, so I'm using Azalea by the Albeit brand, which you can find at 
uh, Anthropology, and it is a hot pink. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and liked seeing sort of a day to night look. Um, if you did like that, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and grab some of the other palettes that I have just to show you multiple options um, that you can work with from, from a palette because a lot of times you just get stuck in a rut and use the same colors but with especially the Showstopper one by Tarte and, and another Tarte palette that I have and um, Urban Decay's Naked 2 Basics, the Naked 2, I mean there's a lot of options. So um, let me know if you liked seeing sort of the transition from day to night and I'll do a couple more of those for you. Um, if you want to see any other makeup tutorials, you can find those on my YouTube channel or my blog, thesmallthingsblog.com.